Is there anybody in the room that doesn't love topwater fishing? Get your pulse checked if you don't, okay? Is there a doctor in the room? Because we need, we need help if there's somebody in here that doesn't enjoy topwater. Uh, I'm from Florida, and Florida strain largemouth are notoriously picky and slow to react to any lure, uh, particularly topwaters. So you learn patience from the beginning in Florida. And, and sometimes that applies as I move north to different strains or different, uh, you know, whether it's smallmouth, spotted bass, or northern strain largemouth. Sometimes what I learned in Florida can pay off on a slow day as I move north on, the, uh, on our hemisphere. Uh, I'm, I'm going to break this down in different lure groups. We're going to discuss chuggers and prop baits and buzz baits and frogs and all kinds of things. And, and I'm going to go at it one at a time. But the moment of truth. When you're topwater fishing, especially in, in clear water where fish feed by sight and they're very uh, disciplined on what, you know, they're very picky about what they eat. Uh, what you do, when you, when you put a bait out there and, and the fish, you got the fish's attention, he's, he's zeroed in on the bait. What I call the moment of truth is what you do next, whether, you deter, whether it determines you get the strike or the fish refuses the bait. And in Florida, it's, it's so critical. It's, it's just like our fish are so particular. They get a lot of pressure. We got a 12-month fishery. Your fish are under ice right now, a lot of them. So they, they come out in the spring and they're, they're all fired up and they haven't seen any lures and they bite just about anything that moves. In Florida, when top water time is, is, is you know, the, the window when that's best, the fish have already seen a bunch of lures and they've been caught a lot of them. So it, it, it's a, a practice of patience and, and uh, perseverance to get the fish to eat your lure sometimes. And what you do and what we're going to talk about in this, in this class, in this lesson, is trying to read that fish. And, and, and every fish is different. You know, it's, it's not like a, you can walk out of here today and say, okay, I've got, it, I've got it dialed in. All i got to do is this one thing. And every fish is going to react the same way. It's not that easy. I'm sorry. I can't give you a, a, just a blanket formula to go out there and apply. But I can give you some parameters and some things to work with that will help you catch more fish. The tendency in topwater fishing is to fish too fast. And that includes moving the bait, that, in, that includes setting the hook. You know, a lot of us are too quick on the, on the hook set because the fish is there, you see the reaction, you know, you see the bite, you react, and it's, sometimes it's involuntary. So it's, it's going to take some discipline to improve your topwater fishing, but I'm going to walk you through that and help you. But that's basically what I'm talking about. The fish is poised under the bait, he's looking at it, and what you do in the next instant or few seconds is going to determine whether you're successful in hooking that fish, getting him to commit to the bait. That's the moment of truth. Uh, prop bait? Okay, the prop bait, you're, you're imparting the action to the lure, but not as much as a popper or a chugger, okay? A popper or a chugger, you throw it out there and, and you're, it's more deliberate. You're, you're making that bait move and spit and slide and do all the things you want it to. On a prop bait, the props are creating the action. When they spin, they're making a, a and, and I'll give you a really good tip on topwater plugs, uh, prop baits especially. This bait, when we designed it, I told my boss at Rapala, I said, I want the hardware loose, and I want it loose for a reason. Uh, generally, these little cups that you see that separate the prop from the, the hook eye or the body of the lure, those little shields, usually they're stuck on there pretty good. They're, they're adhered to the body of the bait, and, and they're, they just they don't move. And I learned a long time ago, in fact, it was shown to me by a guy in Florida, an older guy, excuse me, that uh, he used to take his devil horses and he would loosen the cups. He'd, he'd pop them off and make them loose where they come. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. You want to become a better angler? You want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond? Then check out Bash University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Gluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV. 
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's gonna allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're gonna catch some big <laughs> fish. Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bass University TV exclusive.